Oh, good afternoon, my fans. As the great American Thomas Paine once said, these are the times that try men's souls. Now, I got to think Thomas Paine was probably trying to run a solar power system off-grid out in Death Valley. But if he was, yeah, he ain't lying. Because um, I am. For those of you uh, not familiar with the Tacopa Mines off-grid system out here, we are uh, fully self-contained. Uh, running a solar plant, uh, with panels, charge converter, inverter, all the fun stuff that goes along with it because there's no utilities anywhere near here. And when the system is working right, which is about 98, 99% of the time, you know, I'm generating enough to run two air conditioners and anything else that I could need to do during the day and enough battery power to uh, keep me cool or warm in the winter during the night. Well, right now with these you know, massive high temperatures out here in Death Valley all summer. The system has been pushed to the edge of its load uh, for a few months now. And things are starting to go kitty wampus on me. So this last week has been uh, you know, a real uh, fun time uh, running down faults and repairing things and troubleshooting. And sometimes as late as 1030 at night on the phone with my power guru, Andrew the Great, who initially put this system in and has spent uh, literally hours on the phone, text, and uh, FaceTime with me trying to fix this stuff. And, you know, Andrew is the Einstein genius that builds and maintains systems like this. I'm kind of curious, George, with a wrench and a voltage tester out here, poking and prodding and twisting things and trying to figure out what's going on, so... Over the past week, we've had uh, a bad breaker, some suspect chargers, uh, another suspect charge controller, and a lot of the problems have boiled down to one shorted out shot power jumper underneath the shrink wrap insulation that I just replaced today. Now, mind you, I'm doing this, it's 103 degrees outside right now. In the power room, it's probably 110, 115. Uh, plus, I got the background noise of the generator running as you know, spare backup power. <sighs> you know, frankly, sometimes I'm tempted just to pitch it all to the curb and let DTE come in here and run with their massively expensive power cables all the way up here from their utility lines several miles to the south. But I hate DTE, I hate California utilities, and I hate spending money on stuff like that. So I'm going to be cantankerous and keep the power system working out here. And like I said, 98, 99% of the time, it works just great. The heat's getting ready to break this week. We'll start seeing lower temperatures and we won't be running the system on the ragged edge anymore. Yeah, but, um, you yeah, know, this last week has been uh, quite educational where I've learned a lot about the system. We've made some fixes that have made the system better. We've got some plans for improving it uh, before next summer. And uh, all it takes is time and money, and I've got all the time in the world. So... Those of you who like off-grid power systems, you know, we are compiling a real list of things to do and things not to do out here, but all in all, the system usually works and provides me more power than I can use, so I'm pretty happy with it, and I wouldn't go back to the old way even if I could, which I can't. So, just wanted to get on here and kind of vent and share the experiences, and now I'm back in here with the air conditioning with the Mind Dogs, and... Uh, I'm going to have a drink and watch a John Wayne movie. So, on Wings of Eagles, 1957, one of John Ford's best. That plug aside, thanks to Andrew and thanks to the other people that have uh, put up with me this past week. Uh, well, I've been less than pleasant trying to sort this system out. But, happy days, folks. Are here again. Peace out. <laughs>